Well, there are quite a number of benefits for people to exercise, especially living with the, uh, those living with osteoarthritis. Physiologically, it helps to improve muscle strength and flexibility of the joint, which means that it can help to alleviate some of the pain the person may have. Another thing is that we know weight uh, management is an important uh, type of uh, uh, treatment for people with osteoarthritis. Exercise can certainly help to um, control weight. And I think also exercise can help to reduce the risk of osteoporosis and decrease bone loss, which is quite important, especially for women um, and the older population. And finally, exercise can also improve the sleep quality, and we know that people who exercise regularly usually sleep better. Exercise also has quite a bit of psychological benefits. For example, it helps to improve the person's self-esteem and body image. Research also shows that exercise can help to alleviate anxiety and stress as well as depression. So there are many different benefits for people with osteoarthritis to exercise. Well, before beginning exercise, individuals should talk to their doctor and healthcare providers, but Research has shown that there are a range of exercises that are suitable for people with osteoarthritis. For example, there are exercises that can help to improve muscle strength, and that these can include weight training with or without equipment. Another type of exercise is for aerobic conditioning, and that includes aerobics in the swimming pool, exercise in the gym, or um, low-impact aerobic exercise. The third type of exercise helps to improve joint flexibility as well as range of motion. Examples include yoga and uh, tai chi. And finally, recreational activities such as biking, yoga, tennis, and walking are suitable for a lot of people with osteoarthritis. Research has shown that people who exercise in a group tend to have better improvement than those who are exercising alone. Part of it is because of the socialization and the motivation for people to stay on, ex uh, stay on exercise activity so that they can benefit more uh, from being active. Um, there are really no specific type of exercise that should be avoided by people with osteoarthritis. However, if you have a flare-up in the joint, so when it's hot and swollen, for example, you probably don't want to overwork or overstress the joint because it can cause more pain. This is another reason why it is important to talk to your doctor or your physiotherapist before you start an exercise program or if you wonder whether the exercise is suitable for you or not. We also know research suggests that the, uh, there are more, uh, most of the types of physical activities would not cause osteoarthritis or make the osteoarthritis worse. On the other hand, lack of physical activity has been shown to cause more pain, fatigue, stiffness, and deconditioning of the muscle, which can result in poor health. So in general, most of the type of exercise are good for people with osteoarthritis. Pain is probably the most uh, most cited barrier to people uh, for people to exercise. However, we know some of the physical benefits with exercise, such as improving muscle strength and range of motion, and those can be um, a reason to alleviate some of the pain that people may experience with osteoarthritis. For people who are obese or overweight, while they're starting an exercise program, research has shown that it is, uh, they can get better benefit if they also start with a diet program or weight management program at the same time. Another reason that, is, uh, that can be a barrier for people to start exercise is because they don't know what to do. So talking to a physiotherapist or uh, their doctor to set up an adequate exercise program can be very helpful. One of the major issues um, for people who already, already started an exercise program, the major problem for people to stay on an exercise program is that they don't find the exercise enjoyable or that the exercise may be too easy or too difficult. So when that happens, again, you need to get a referral to talk to your physiotherapist who can help to modify 
your exercise program. We also talked about um, exercising with a group of people or with a friend, and that would be a good way to help motivate people to stay on an exercise program that, that they've already um, joined. And I think uh, finally, one of the most uh, important barrier to exercise is that people didn't get the recommendation or advice from their doctor to start exercise. We know from research that, for example, in France, about 15% of the family physicians would recommend exercise to people with osteoarthritis, even though this is the first line treatment for uh, osteoarthritis of the knee. A couple of years ago, we completed a study and find that in Canadians with osteoarthritis in the knee, only one third of them have ever received any recommendation to exercise, which is quite astonishing. So I think education to health professional would be another way to alleviate the barrier for people to start exercising. To start an exercise program, I think, first of all, talk to your doctor and see whether exercise is suitable for you and what type of exercise is suitable. Get a referral to see a physical therapist who can help you set up a program that is uh, adequate for your needs. Sometimes people may need to use a splint or braces or orthotics to make the joint more comfortable when they exercise, and if that's required, your family physician can refer you to an, an occupational therapist to get those kind of devices. And finally, a lot of programs in the community has arthritis-specific programs um, that are carry out in a gym setting, so land-based exercise program or a pool program that is suitable for arthritis. So those are the ways that you can find out how to start an exercise program.